Hello, my name is Mary, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do simple wrap and turn short rows for knitting in garter stitch. So the purpose of short rows is to add length to one part of your fabric, but not all the way across. When you're knitting garter stitch, you're knitting back and forth, in this case, knitting every row so that each part of your knitting is all one length. But if you want to make a curve or you want to make one section longer than another section, you do something called short rows, which means you only work part of the way across before turning around and going the other way. So if I were to work part away and back and forward and back and forward and back, this side of my knitting would get much bigger while this side stayed small. So how do you do this? Right now I'm in the middle of a row. There are many different ways to do short rows, but this is the easiest and perhaps the most popular. I'm in the middle of my row. I'm working my way across knitting. And I get to the point where it tells me to turn. Now it might say something like knit until knit 20 stitches, wrap and turn, or it might say knit until your X number of stitches from the end, wrap and turn. So let's say that I'm at the point where I'm supposed to wrap and turn. What do I do? The next stitch, I'm not going to knit it. I'm going to take my working yarn and wrap it around. Now the reason for this is to prevent us from getting a big hole right here. If I were just to turn my work and start working the other way, we'd get this nice gap here, which usually isn't something you want. So to wrap and turn a stitch, you take the next stitch, the one you're supposed to wrap, you slide it over as if you're gonna purl. You take the working yarn, you wrap it around it, you take that stitch and you move it back to the needle that it was on originally. So we've just wrapped our working yarn around that stitch. If I give it a tug you can see it move. And then the next step is to turn. So here we are, we're ready to go back. And you just knit your way across to the point where you are supposed to do your next wrap and turn. Or it might tell you to return back to the end of the row. So I'll show that again. Let's pretend it's here. I'm at the stitch I need to wrap and turn. I slip it as if to purl. So I'm just sliding it from my left needle to my right needle. I'm wrapping my working yarn around it and then I'm sliding it back. So I give, if I give a tug on it, you can see I've got it there. And then I turn and I work. Now, sometimes your knitting will then say, turn and knit to X number of stitches before the wrap and turn, all right? So where, how do I do that? Where do I find that? So if you kind of spread your stitches out, you'll see, oh, there's a bit of a gap here, okay? So what caused that? That was caused by my wrap and turn. Now, if you look, the wrap makes a horizontal line. Now, of course, garter makes a lot of horizontal lines. So you look at that gap that you find there and you try to look and you can see there's a stitch that's sort of wrapped around this one. So this is the stitch I wrapped. So if your knitting says knit to five stitches before your last wrap and turn, okay, you'll see this gap here. Okay, this was the stitch I wrapped last time. Five stitches before that is one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm ready to wrap this one. I slide it over, I wrap around, I slide it back, and I turn. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around just to show you what that looks like now. Now we've got two sort of gaps here, and they're five stitches apart. Because again, it said to go to five stitches before that last wrapped one and wrap again. So the gap will be five. Whatever that space that they told you, that'll be how many stitches are there. So what do you do when you come to a wrap and turn? Well, traditionally in stockinette or pattern knitting, it might tell you, talk about picking up the wraps, but we're not going to do that. The concern is that these wraps make a horizontal line, but as we already discussed, garter stitch is full of horizontal lines, and one more isn't going to matter. So when you get to that stitch and you need to work it, you just keep right on going. Okay? No one is going to see that line. So I'm going to do another wrap and turn. Wrap, slide it back over, and turn. And again, you'll see where my wrap and turns were on the previous 
well, I can't even say row because we're working lots of random rows, but I'm going to work my way over to them. When I get to them, I'm just going to keep on knitting. Here's the next one. Keep on knitting. And the end result of all this is where I've been working wrap and turns, I have more rows than I do at the edges. So this bit of fabric is longer, wider, however you want to say it, than this one. You can see a little bit of lines. Sometimes designers will do things like this to create these little visual bits of interest. But again, you don't have to worry about picking up that wrap because the wrap is not what's going to be noticeable in your garter stitch. Um, designers also can use these to create curves. You can see that the fabric is curving out a bit because of these short rows. So this has been Simple Wrap and Turn Short Rows in Garter Stitch. Thank you so much for joining me.